Hi, I'm Maura Dooley with your College Football Insider, brought to you by Mac and Jack's Brewing Company. With the Apple Cup, Utah, Arizona State, and Colorado USC all being canceled this weekend, the revamped schedule ended up going pretty well for new Pac-12 head coaches. Jimmy Lake and Carl Durrell both had impressive wins despite the last-minute opponent changes. Durrell coached Colorado to a 2010 win over San Diego State, and Jimmy Lake rallied his Huskies for a 24-21 comeback victory over Utah. UW, Colorado, and USC are now the only remaining undefeated Pac-12 teams. For the Huskies, it was quite the turnaround after heading into the half down 21-0. One of the reasons that Lake gave for giving freshman quarterback Dylan Morris the starting nod was that he doesn't make a lot of mistakes, but he did struggle a bit against Utah throwing three interceptions. It was not cause for concern, however, according to Lake, he said that Morris had a great attitude at the half and he could just tell that he was going to lead the team and put some points on the board when they got back out there. He did just that with the help of junior tight end Cade Otten, who had two touchdowns and 103 of his 108 receiving yards in the second half. The Huskies defense also came up huge in the second half, shutting the Utes out and coming up with two interceptions, a forced fumble, and a turnover on downs. But UW wasn't the only team to pull off a big comeback this weekend. Oregon State upset Oregon Friday night 41-38 after overcoming a 12-point fourth quarter deficit. Beavers running back Jermar Jefferson could not be stopped, rushing for 226 yards and two touchdowns. This is not good news for the Pac-12's already slim college football playoff hopes, though. The Ducks were ranked 15th before the loss, and this could push them out of the top 25. USC is the only other ranked Pac-12 team coming in at 18, but their cancellation this week and previous canceled games for UW and Colorado mean that the best and undefeated team in the Pac-12 could finish is 6-0, which makes it very unlikely they would get a seat at the college football playoff table. Up next for USC, if they are cleared to play, is Washington State. UW is scheduled to host Stanford, and Colorado is at Arizona.